James one is thank you for joining me today. We have this great Portuguese wine from the producer Eridade So Miguel. It is Alicante Boucher. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about this wine. So here's what we have. We have Alicante Boucher and, uh, you know, to give a frame on this is Alicante Boucher is not native to the Iberian Peninsula, uh, obviously not Portugal, but it's a French grape variety that made its way there. But it also made its way to the United States, especially during Prohibition. The reason, at least for the United States, was it is a huge hardy grape variety in terms of yield. So per acre, per hectare, it's producing a lot of grapes. In today's viticulture, you're not gonna really go for those extreme yields. What you're really looking for is high quality fruit. And uh, you know, high quality fruit is gonna express and uh, assuming it's gonna be uh, vinified well, it's going to express nicely in the glass. When you reduce the quantity of better quality fruit into a, a really nicely done vinification process, and then in the glass is something that's uh, a really handsome, respectable wine. So let me show you the bottle. I'll tell you more about Alicante Boucher. And uh, so here's the label. This is a 2015 vintage, $23 price point. And uh, this wine is 15% ABV. Back label here. I took a picture, I'll post that right here. And you can see the detail on that. I think it's well done. Now, uh, I think this wine is, is remarkable because um, I definitely enjoy this with a lot of different things. So uh, again, I believe in wine being very democratic. That is, you can enjoy it the way you want to enjoy it, but uh, definitely this is for beef, for uh, lamb, pork, salmon, and very versatile to drink on its own, of course. Now this wine is, uh, of course, a created uh, variety, Vitis for grape from France. It's from a cross between Grenache and Petit Boucher. Now Petit Boucher is a cross between Tenturier du Cher as well as Aramon. And uh, so without these varieties coming together, being created, we wouldn't enjoy what we have today. I think this is a fantastic wine. So vinification on this is after destemming, the grapes undergo a cold soak. Um, they're in controlled stainless steel vats. Uh, mechanical punch down after fermentation it comes in contact with um, the skins for about seven days and then age 12 months in french oak it's a, a splendidly beautiful wine in terms of its mouthfeel and capture the weight on this might be somewhat of a resemble of say uh, petite syrah but it's not petite syrah because I think there's great variation in terms of Alicante Boucher where I don't think there is for petite syrah so here we go with this wine so this is 93 points out of 100 points so on this wine here, are notes of uh, boysenberry, red cherry, leather notes, uh, dried wood, as well as cinnamon stick. And I see down next, a palate characterization. So the palate characterization of cassis, white pepper, thyme, bay leaf, and cardamom is splendidly beautiful and gorgeous. So 93 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below, as well as questions and comments. And guess what's down below? The like button. So please hit the, the subscribe button right up here if you haven't done so already. Reason to do so is to see the latest videos that I am producing. More wines to come on this great year and uh, beer and spirits and coffee and all the other categories I participate in. I appreciate all the support you give to me and we'll see you real soon. Salde and salute.